Hi folks on Twitch and YouTube. Welcome back. Uh, so, I was just uh, speaking with Nico Girl about, because uh, they were saying they were trying to avoid streams of this because of spoilers, and I was saying how I definitely agree, and I've not been watching even people I know stream it because I've been wanting to avoid spoilers and figure stuff out on my own. However, I also said, screw it, I'm trying to figure out where the hell some of these quest people go because it's seemingly random. And, of course, Blythe, the dog guy. I think even Plant Seer Velix suggested this at one point. And I think I was going to do this, but then I either forgot and or I couldn't remember which jail it was. So you're supposed to come back. After he tells you to go meet him down underground, He's uh, you're supposed to come back to this jail that you come and uh, did that, well, did the fight with. The Bloodhound Gang one. But there was some kind of... Yeah. And you come up and you hear his howl and you're like, whoa, that's super weird. Wait, why can I talk to this thing? Oh, it's you. It's me, Bye. Old EG trapped me here. What? Told me I'd bring north the bell to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of a bee. A very shadow. I thought old EG knew as much. Honestly, I don't know what's going on anymore. Sure, we'll open it. All right, you can stop howling. You're not a 90s radio DJ. My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mr. Srani now. I don't know what came over old EG, but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now. Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old EG, but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. And yeah, now that's kind of low. So, yes, why would you ever come back to this? Honestly, again, I, I should have done it. Not because logically it makes any sense whatsoever. But because that's sometimes what From will do with their obscure quest lines. Where it's like, well, if if there's no clue as to where you're supposed to go, go back to somewhere you've already been with that NPC. Uh, uh, that's another reason yesterday... I mean... In hindsight, here's another thing. So here's with Selen's quest, right? Um, by uh, by the way, uh, Nico girl, I, I strongly suggest you get this when you can. I definitely understand uh, money; it's an expensive game. But we're already at how many hours that we are we at now? We're at 145 hours, and I still have. This is my first playthrough. This is not like New Game Plus. Uh, there's a ton to explore. Uh, it's, it's very, very good. Despite some of the bitching that I'm about to do now. Uh, which I'm not even going to get into the whole... Hey, there's an item over there that I hadn't found before. Uh, get into the whole, like, the way they do questing. But, uh, so yesterday, like, with Selen, or, or whatever her name is, I should have thought to go back to her cell when the, the thing pulsated. Simply because, again, that's kind of a from thing. Is like, oh, well, you know, you don't know where to go. Go back to somewhere you already were. And maybe something has changed. But then sometimes maybe not. Sometimes it's it's just nothing's changed. Get, get off the horse. Get off the horse. Thank you. Sometimes. It's time to get off the horse, Timmy. Just another ten minutes. Oh, right, these things scream. I forgot about that. Yeah, if you guys could be quiet, I'm trying to do kind of an intro thing. Anyway. Uh, the other reason does make it a bit more sense, because I ended up looking up Selen's quest line after we finished it. And, uh... It's interesting that we can do a summon here. But um, one interesting thing with it 
was again something like a a one-off line that you would have to remember about why it makes any sense at all. You might remember the uh, when we did the arena thing for Stargazer Rodan or whatever the hell his name was. One of the guys there, when we talked to him, said he was a witch hunter. Because remember the guy, when we found him at Salen's cave, he said, oh, hey, it's weird to see you here again. Or, you know, see you again. Well, it's because we did talk to him at the... At the... Uh, at the tr at the arena thing. And he said, oh, I'm a witch hunter. And even, I, I think she did say... Uh, Salen did say, like, she's a witch. Maybe burn, huh? Come on. There you go. Royal House Scroll. Cool. I didn't find this stuff before, obviously. So, the reason she died was because he went to kill her. I honestly, here's the thing. Here's why that, like, now in hindsight, that seems blatantly obvious. The reason it didn't occur to me before was, I thought when we took her her life essence that it would basically kill her anyway right i didn't like i just especially the way she reacted i kind of thought okay well we've we've basically dealt a mortal wound to her by taking this and she knows that but the idea was we're going to take that and put that into another body but what actually happened was he he had he goes and kills her that's why she dies right then. And that's why he's there when you get there. Because, well, he killed her. And I didn't I didn't think about that. I that's why I was like, why is he here? Like I was confused why he was there in the first place. Uh and that's also, I guess, why we have to fight him uh when when we do the final part. Oh god, three dog? Funny story actually about old three dog and what was that was that was that fallout three it had to have been right it had to have been 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 that one so remind me to tell that story in a second have you felt the crucible night i honestly don't remember i there's so many bosses in this game i don't even remember if i fought him to be totally honest with you hold on um, who's somebody fun we could bring? Oh god, this annoying asshole. Oh. I actually don't remember. Yes, bro, control, you'd come back because you know the devs are dicks. Uh, even though there's absolutely no, no hint whatsoever that you would ever, ever do that. So, um... Anyway, yes, I in my head, I had, I was thinking, well, she's going to die shortly after I leave anyway. And that's why she died shortly after I left, right? Because if you remember, pretty much right after we left, uh, she ended up, she ended up dying. And I thought like, oh, well, yeah, of course she's dead because I took her life essence. I didn't think somebody killed her. And also, when you talk to her, I remembered afterwards that she even specifically said that uh, the reason she wanted us to take her life essence was because people were coming to to, to kill her. And I'd honestly forgot that. Also, I'm way over level for this spot, by the way. That's kind of why I'm just farting around with it. But anyway, so that's why that sequence of events happened like it did. And it does make a bit more sense than than originally uh, I was thinking, right? Because uh, like I said, it, and and again, it just... The, the speed of which she died just kind of uh, reinforced that notion in my head, if that makes sense. But anyway, so the three dog story. When I first played 
Fallout 3, I, surprise, surprise, played it as an evil character. I know, shocking for me. I was really, I was really breaking the mold there. So, uh, I, I, I did one particular thing. There was some town, and there was some kid that you find in one of those tubes that's supposed to, like, that you were supposed to hide in from the apocalypse whenever it happened or whatever. So you find some kid in there, and I, I don't remember the details, but the long story short is that I left him in there. I did not save him, because I don't want to deal with that stupid kid. Right? So, as far as I know, he, you know, died in there. And, uh, so, <laughs> later on, I'm just walking through, through the middle of the wastelands. And three dog, and you know how three dog would update? Sorry, it's, it, it fluctuates between super loud today and quiet, and it's throwing me off. Uh, but you know how he comments on things you do in the wasteland? Well, he starts talking shit about how, like, I, I found this kid, but I left him in this abandoned town to die. It's like full of ants, too. Like, gigantic, you know, mutant ants, because of course it was. And I was like, you motherfucker, like, spreading slander against me. I mean, it technically wasn't slander, because it was true. But I was like, spreading slander against me. You son of a bitch. So I actually went to the radio station and killed his ass. I blew him away. He's like, oh, hey, man, what's up? And I'm like, hey, what's down is your hit point bar. And he's like, what? That doesn't make sense. What's a hit point bar? And then I shot him. And killed him. Uh, and after you kill him, uh, apparently, like some like older lady takes over the radio station. Uh, and I went back to <clears throat> talk to her because she also slandered me by uh, by um, saying that or, or hinting that I had killed the old. Radio DJ that I had killed three dogs. I mean, I did kill him, but she didn't have any proof of that. So technically it's slander adjacent. So I went to go have a talk with her and maybe get our differences sorted out. Uh, and she was not there. Like she's not, she doesn't, she, she doesn't have a model in the game. Like she, you can't kill her too. I mean, not that I would have obviously, but she becomes the, the DJ and every now and then she'll still reference uh, she's like, she'll say something like, coming to you live because three dog isn't or something like that. But anyway. Uh, I did not kill from spite. Would you just let some guy talk shit about you on the radio? Who knows how many people are listening? I have a reputation to uphold. Well, I had a reputation to uphold. I'm not just going to let some butthole... Radio DJ named Three Dog. What is the fuck does that even mean? Like, I'm not gonna let him talk shit about me. People gotta know. You talk shit, you get hit. He fucked around and found out. But anyway, that was my my Three Dog adventures with Three Dog. Ow! Oh, he's Three Dog. Ow! Permanently. Beating you with the holy words. And yes, I have a sword made out of words. Seduce the rival's wife. Wait, did I do that? I know I seduced my son's wife. Technically, she seduced me. Like, they just got married and she's all giving me the eyeballs. What, I'm not, I'm gonna not have sex with her? Just because she's my son's wife? Why? I mean, I don't see why that would matter. I mean, the derpies was probably another good reason not to, but... In hindsight, it's really easy to look back in time and, and realize the mistakes that you've made, but, you know, when I'm there, live... Check this... Spell out bro control, you're gonna like it. Wait, but bef but first, hold on. 
So here's this giant enemy crab. Oh god. I love that. Ah, uh, ow! No, no, I'm trying to do a thing. God damn it. Listen. Look, this takes a while. Bam! Get beam beam. Ah. Oh, thank God the beam didn't hit this turtle. Yeah, in hindsight, doesn't matter. Got laid. Crab eggs. Hey, buddy. You okay? Be careful. You need to look out. There's giant enemy crabs around, all right? You continue being a good boy. If not, if not the best boy. What's my life story? Well, you see, I was born in rural Georgia, 1978. Son of a sharecropper. <laughs> yes, I was born as a baby turtle pope. Speaking of turtle pope, uh, we do need to go talk to him because we did get a book. Also, we got a royal scroll. Let me look at that before I forget, uh, which could literally be milliseconds from now. Um, let's see. Not that one. That's not it either, but I was just looking at it. Sorcery Scroll of the Carrion Royal Family, the heads of the Academy of Rey Lucaria. So they were, so they, the Carrion were the head of that academy. I thought they split off. I thought they were a splinter group. Anyway, can we give in to a learned sorcerer to gain the following? Glint Blade Phalanx and Carrion Slicer. Excuse me. God, I hate those bugs. For real. Meet Jesus, bitch. I mean, if you have any specific questions, definitely feel free to ask, but my life story is very boring. Uh, like most of the stories that I'll probably tell. Uh, oh, Turtle Pope. He's over here. I always think he's at that area. Born on a ship. Bearing me away from King's Landing. Are you looking a little grayish today? Greetings. Do you need anything? Let's give him the scroll. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Hold on, I want to be able to see Is there something else? Give the two fingers prayer book. What have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. I know he says the same thing, but I'm not going to interrupt him. I think I already have the lesser version of this, or the better version of this. Carrying slicer for the uh, uh, No, actually, I didn't. What does this one do? From sweeping slash using a magical sword. Okay. Cool. They yeah, had those. That was super early, and I missed it. Lord's heal massively heals hit points for self and nearby allies. Lord's aid alleviates poison, blood, loss, sleep buildup for self and allies. Eh. I don't really need those. I mean. We'll grab this. I doubt we'd ever use it. Let 
Love you, Turtle Pope. You're the best. You're the only NPC in this game I give a shit about. Well, that and the Ash of War Lady. The, or the Ashes of War Lady. She's nice. Are you here for spirit tuning? I'm just here to talk, Ash Lady. So, uh, I did also look up Melinthia's quest line as well. Uh, that one, apparently we need to go to the Windmill City, where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. However, we haven't been there yet. I actually have not been there yet, because this game is 800,000 hours long. Uh, I do want to go see the blacksmith, though. Uh, Irrit, or whatever his name is, the guy who put this dude, Wolf Guy, in jail. Wolf Guy took that fairly well, might I just throw that in there. Right? Like, the the dude put him and trapped him in jail for, like, for what he thought would be eternity. Oh, no, he said he was going to go see... Uh, oh, let's go see the blacksmith first. He's over... Actually, he might have been moved. Oh, no, he's over here. Yeah, yeah, let's go talk to him first. So, Nico, she actually doesn't move faster than other killers. It's because she's small. She appears to move faster. Kind of like Freddy. How Freddy, uh, Freddy in uh, Dead by Daylight appears to move faster a little bit. And he seems like his lunge is bigger. It's just because he's got a smaller model. Uh, characters like Hag don't seem about normal speed. Because Hag is actually slower than most of them. So she seems probably normal speed. But I've heard that a lot. I've heard a lot of people th uh, feel like uh, they think that she's faster. But she's uh, normal speed. Yes, this guy put him in jail. Which, I guess, is there, you know... That's why he doesn't tell us where he went or he's not like, hmm, I wonder where he's at. I guess that's their reasoning about why he just pretends he stopped existing. My fellow as war counselor? Yeah. Why is Bla Blythe in Everjail? I presume you've spoken with Blythe? Uh, yeah. Well, there is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the Two Fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized for Lady Rani's sake. Mm, I mean, that's not... If he's not lying, then that would make sense. Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise. As she... Now, Lady Rani, I pray that you sir. Right, so, if that's the case, if he's somehow, like, bound to make sure that she's always uh, following his will, uh, the two, the fingers will, I, it's still never, it's gonna not feel weird to say, then yes, I can see why he jailed him. Now, why he didn't tell me this shit? Is is kind of questionable, but and yes, they were boys. That's why the wolf guy was was pissed. Well, like I said, he actually should have been more pissed. Like I'd have been like, "Oh, I'm about to light that blacksmith up." Now, how he trapped him in the jail across the damn universe, I don't know, but who knows. Oh, uh, one thing I will say, though, about Sadako's speed, I did forget about. Whenever she comes out of a television, she has a speed boost for, like, two seconds. It's not very long. 
One to two seconds. She gets a speed boost out of the TV. Maybe he's outside? Because he said he was coming here. He's not howling. Like he's on a classic rock station. Well, I don't know where Ranny is. Ranny's gone to the Imperium or whatever it is that she's gone to do. I'm gonna light you up, sweet cheeks. But I'm gonna guess we have to put... If we want to side with Ranny... We're, we might have to put uh, we'll put our boy Blythe down. There are a lot of wolves out here. I mean, there always are. He did say Ranny, not fucking Renny, right? Because I love that they named these two NPCs incredibly similarly, which again was obviously done on purpose because they're tied together. But it doesn't make it any less irritating. Yeah, I have no... I, I assumed you were referencing something, but I, I don't know what that, that something is. Can I fall from here? Because I'm tired of making this long run around. So yeah, I only... As far as looking at the quests, I only looked ahead like to the next step. Because again, I do prefer to look the shit up myself. Also, why can't we talk to him about this guy being dead? And I'm still presuming his puppets. I mean, I mean, given the state of his laboratory, I'm guessing the puppets aren't uh, what you would typically go to the store and buy. Unless your local store allows you to, to purchase corpses, I guess. I want to go check something again real quick. Oop. I think that NPC exists solely for you to be like, wait, disappearing NPC. I've seen this before. I'm really disappointed with the selling end of the quest line, though. Like that. That was like I was really in my head thinking like, oh, cool. Like maybe this will happen. And oh, yeah. Like at the end, you could team with her and da 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 da. And. But then it's like, no, actually. You know all that cool stuff that happened? Control Z, that shit. It never happened. Also, she's a ball of masks now. It's like, oh, okay. Well, that could have been cool, but when you threw it away, that's neat, I guess. Also, I'm guessing, too, I know with this message, uh, it, this probably should be Silvus, Silvus's puppets. Not puppet. Unless it really was just talking about this one. Which doesn't make sense because it's behind an illusory wall. Also, why is it way the fuck back here? But, um... It is a little disturbing. Let's say. That he had the female puppet. Behind an illusory wall, which appeared to be where his bedroom was. I'll let the I'll let the audience put those pieces together.
I might I actually put player housing into WoW after what 15 years? They might finally do what they should have done already. I oh shit. I wonder if did Blythe say Renny or Renny? I'm assuming Renny because they've not really talked about Renny at all. Fuck. I hate the name thing. Jesus, fuck. No, you see, but there's a reason. Because Renny and Renny were right. It's like, I don't give a fuck. It makes it hard to keep fucking track. I'm wondering... I just want to check over here. To see if he's over here. Because he's not where he said he's going to be, again. Check your quest log. Yeah, oh shit. I should have thought to look at that. Oh wait. They don't bother. I wouldn't mind doing some of the, the, the portraits that we had today as well. Now, one thing they are pretty good about is when they move, put an NPC in an area, they will usually put them by a bonfire. Like, close. Like, for example, when we went and found the guy we gave the key to. What are you looking at, bitch? Hadouken! So, like, already, I think he's not here. And he could be any fucking where. And he didn't even say ran. Like, this is more of a ranny thing than a, than a ranny thing, I think. Even though I guess they kind of along the same path. Um... I'm just gonna go over here. And Blythe didn't talk about like the like the fact that I got the dagger and stuff. Also, it'd have been cool if when you killed this boss that I guess helped to create this false star sky and or false night sky and all that, if the the stars and shit would would go out. I think that would be pretty neat. Yeah, no. Yeah, from is from has moved the the football yet again. We're just going to take a quick peek around some of these. Oh, this is the other one. A different section. I'm pretty sure he said Ranny, though. He, so, I mean, he didn't go to the tower, and I guess to be fair, he was said he was going to Ranny, and she's not at the tower. See, this is exactly why they need a fucking quest log. Because there's often, like, one little word that they'll say that'll trip you up. And if you don't, like, fucking screenshot it or take a picture of it or something like that, it's like, ah, well, he's, you thought he said this, but he actually said this. Kind of bullshit, you know? Maybe an Elden Ring 3 or 4. Oh, 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 yes. That's true as well. For the player housing. I I just... I don't understand why they don't do it. Like, I, I just don't fucking get it. It's, it's an easy win for them. Pe players would love it. And they could sell a bunch of horse shit. Right? Like, 
how much cool like cosmetic shit could they sell to the players? So we're kind of doing a little questing and stuff to start with today, by the way, guys. Not a lot of murdering yet. I'll try to mix in some murdering. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll 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 do a little bit of this, and then we'll go back to the city and clear more of that. I need to find out where the city of windmills is. I've seen it. But we haven't... I'm almost positive we haven't been there. Also, Nico, which which boss was that you were asking if I had done? I'd have to see who it was. There, like I say, honestly, a lot of the times, I don't even look at the boss's name. Like, I see the bar pop up, but I don't really see the name Crucible Knight. After I go check this door, because I know this door is the one that says the Royal Seal, but I have an idea on that. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but I still have an idea. But we have fought a lot of knights. And we fought several knights at night. We have fought knights with night and their names at night. I don't think this is a complete stretch, but there's an emote called The Ring. I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it's working. Okay. <laughs> I I didn't think so. Crucible Knight, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. I have to be careful when I alt tab. I want to see who this is. Elden Ring Crucible. Um. Oh, he's in one of the jails. Pretty sure I've done that one. Yeah, Stormhill Ever Jail. Yes, yes, I did fight him. Stormhill Ever Jail. God, who's blowing up my fucking? Discord. Those can be rough because you can't summon. Or at least you can't summon the uh like the ashes with you. Uh let's do a quick upgrade check. Chosen undead. I mean Ash that seeketh them, but I mean, what's the other one? There are four more demigods yet to Nicola of the Halig Tree, the un his twin Melania, the undefeated Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her saw here at the hold. We seek the whereabouts. If you should learn any, I'll trade you. We Every time I hear him, I think he's about to pledge an oath to the Starks. Oh, let's give him Thop's bell. I don't think uh, Thop had anything worth a shit. Nah. Sorry, Thop. Sorry you are born with that stupid name. I'm going to have one of these each. Bop. That was a quest line that end, ended completely uninterestingly. Uh, not her. Wait, hold on. That's what I'm looking. I'm not gonna talk to her because she she bangs on for a while. My face is stupid. That is true. Consoling lady, no. Hello. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I sure am. 
God, give me... I want to buy Grave Glove Warts, damn it. So disappointing that I can't get these guys upgraded anymore. Uh, okay. But I was here for Spirit Tuning... I guess I'll go check with this chick. She never stops crying. No. How could I say father has now? Yeah, yeah, your dad sucks. Look. Well, I took you no matter it's out, you're up. Okay. Alright. She bangs. She bangs. She moved. She moves. Okay. This guy this got another death route. Uh we uh going to assume that he's gonna go nuts when we do it. Because he's he's definitely just barely hanging on there. So we we're gonna need some fast spells because he's a fast boy. Hey man, you doing okay? You doing you doing all right, bro? I hope so. Let's go ahead and give him the death root. You good? I won't forget again. Okay. Beast Claw. Be good? You gonna be cool? I'm just gonna walk away, and you're gonna sit there. Barely in control. Great. Fantastic. You love to see it. You love to see him not attack me. Oh, Code Vein? I always wanted to try that one. I've seen a little bit of it. I know everybody just calls it Anime Dark Souls, but... I'm, I'm sure Juggernaut's played it. I don't remember where... Melanth was. I know she was like looking kind of towards the city. But I wanted to kind of sit in a, see where the windmill town is because I don't think we've been there. My my in game yeah, she was here. My in game character is cosplaying as my real Oh, she's she's still here, but she's just not marked on the map. For some... Oh, now she is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she looks a little... a little weird. I mean, no offense to her. Ah, there's the windmill town. She's definitely... I mean, she's looking over there because I'm over there. And she can't keep her eyes off this booty. I mean, she's assuming how beautiful my booty must be under all this. She's not really looking at that. So I don't know why you would assume that she'd be in Windmill Town. I'm pretty damn sure we haven't been up there yet. Or have we? Oh, no, here it is. You can see the, the windmills on the map. Okay. We could get there, though.
Let's do it. Let's go up that way. Character creator is the hardest boss. That is true. Well, thank you for coming out, Nico Girl. Very much appreciated. Have a good one. As they say. You have Discord installed, you animal. Well, you can go to the website version. It was up here. I got the one boss who was just a big one of those those things was called Wormface. I'm like, that's literally every single one. That's like if there was a human opponent whose name was Two Eyes. Like, well, yeah, it's most most of us have two eyes. Like. Two eyes, one nose, one mouth. Okay, okay, they, I, I guess. The backwards typing is a twitch bug. Interesting. All right, so she's supposed to be up here. This is just one of those areas we never, never explored. Hey, baka, das pudding. If you're cool, you know what I'm referencing. If you don't, well, that's fine. Just stay, stay uncool. It's fine. At the windmills. Good job, ma'am. Wait for it. Bam! Ah, oh, beautiful. You want to go? Go, bitch. Man, beating up peasants sure is a lot easier than beating up trained armored holy knights. You wouldn't think. Don't think. Act. It's such a weird bug, too. To have your text come out backwards. And that's not gonna... That's not even close. Protection of the Erd Tree. Oh, I forgot to check that Bestial Claws spell. Backstab! Oh, Jesus. That was like two times his hit points. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna do that. It's not gonna do anything, but I'm gonna do it just in case. And no, it is not praising the sun. If you think that's praising the sun, then you're a frog noob. What are you people talking about? Conspiring behind my back, by the way? Highly illegal. Throwing that out there. Just so you know. Hell yeah. Wait, what? Hmm. Interesting. Circle of flowers on the door. I was thinking it was a marker of, like, this person has the Scarlet Rod. But. That or. 
no f male firstborn children here. Oh, no, see, there's another one. Get out of here, hunter! I can't think of any other quotes from, from Bloodborne that the random people behind doors say. Leave the hunting to hunters. Eileen might be my favorite NPC in that game. If one for her accent, two because her outfit was badass. Hmm. No, the council didn't say nothing because I'm the goddamn council. All of it. I keep the notes. I'm the treasurer. Bookkeeping. All me. I mean, this was not necessary. All right, fine. Jesus. What do I see over here? Before we go check this windmill. Hey, can we line this up? Not quite, but... Yeah, just keep on walking. Hmm. Who is that at the end here? Target. Uh. Hey. You all right? Uh, that's not the that net. Hey, nice, nice butt though. Be cool now, or look, I'm I'm pointing just like you, bro. Look, well, you kind of you kind of hanging it out there. Okay, well. No, not, not you. No, I won't be doing that. Offer rock. God damn it. Those are not useful messages, but. Okay, no. well, I'll leave you to it. I don't want to bother you with me not being super fucking weird and stuff. Anyway. Let me go back to being normal by putting on this gigantic jewel that replaces my skull and my brain like a normal person. Uh, let's go to this one mill first. There's one of the west or left. Actually, also to the... What the fuck? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! No dancing. Dancing is forbidden. What the... No, absolutely not.
Ma'am, you might want to you might want to move, ma'am. Ma'ams? Let me take care of this for you, I guess, ma'am. Perfect piercing, just like I anticipated. Okay, now everything's back to completely normal. That's good. Oh, no! Do not let me interrupt your mirth. Also, get wrecked, bitch. Well, that was another normal thing that just happened. Ah, damn. Let's do this, bitch. Okay, well, that was another very normal occurrence. Group ahead. Yeah, thanks. This is the joy but suffering. Do I have that dance? I don't think I do. I got a curtsy. I was hoping if, like, I think that would have been cool if you stood there long enough. You would actually learn... Uh, the dance. Sitting sideways? Oh, hey. Oh, hee <laughs> hee. I'm just sitting here. Having a little snack. Oh, are you calling me a snack? <laughs> stop. You stop. I am kind of a snack, though. More like a full meal. Navy Hood? Nobles Traveling Guard? Sweet. We got some noble stuff. Twin at Night Swords. Oh, yeah. Anytime I try to, like, do anything in public, women just crawl on all over me. It really gets irritated. Like, at first, it was kind of cool, right? Like, oh, shit. All these ladies all up in my shit. But like eventually it's like, man, look. I just want to get an Icy. Like, I just, I don't, I don't want to turn this 10 minute Icy and Jalapeno Cheetos trip into like an hour long session. And then I have to like clean all the drool off and all the paw prints. Because God knows where you, you ladies have been. You guys want to, I'm just a normal person like you. I fire my butlers one at a time, just like you. But everybody makes a big deal of it. Yeah, I was talking to Brad Pitt about it, and I was you know, we were kind of like relating stories about how rough it is. And he was really shocked at some of the things that I said. I was like, wow, he's like that. I never had to deal with stuff that much. And I'm like, well, you know, you'd understand if you played video games on the internet. Women. That's why they the whole stay hydrated thing is a big deal, right? That's really wise because ladies watching dudes like thirsting over dudes streaming. They have to constantly be drinking or they get dehydrated why women often have the little towels on the chairs when they sit down. Really unhygienic. Really? Oh, wow, he stood up. Hey, wow. He's sitting his fucking ass back down. Put your hands back down. Keep her hands inside the ride at all times. Hold on. There you go. Wow. 
Whoppers. Oof, no, not Whoppers. Whoppers are like one of the worst snacks you can get. Why get a Whopper when you can get like a Three Musketeer? Or a Kit Kat? Or even like, if you wanted to slum it up and get like a Snickers. Or a whatchamacallit. And I, and I don't mean what, what you call it. What do you call it? I mean like a whatchamacallit. Like the actual candy. Called whatchamacallit. Rats. I'm glad they all went to the smaller enemy. Oh, adorable. Bonk. Making a fat joke? Wow, that's fat insensitive. I mean, sorry, weight insensitive. Science has shown again and again that the larger you are, the more healthy that you are. It's society that tells you the opposite. You look at the blob from X-Men. See how much that guy moves around? How strong he is? It's because he's huge. His body is full of health. Touche. Weird rat thing. I've got one of the greatest weapons this world has ever seen. Literally bits of sp space and time I'm using as an actual literal weapon. And I'm using it to kill rats. That was the longest delay. Ooh, giant rat ashes. Sweet, we can have our own pet rats. Rat squad! Also, how is this windmill still functional? I'm not a windmillologist or anything, but my understanding of how the windmill works is the wind blows on the little sails, and they're like specifically engineered so that the wind pushes them to keep the thing going. It doesn't just magically move. I feel like there's not enough contact points with the wind. I think I'm with Bro Control on this. This game's too bullshit with the physics. I can't really immerse myself. Fuck. Hey, I remember that place. That place sucked. Hmm. Interesting. Let me mark that. I wish you could mark with the... I wish you could do like in Dying Light 2, where you could mark like with the binoculars. He's like right here. We'll come back to that. Goobers? Wait, is Goobers the one that's the raisin? The chocolate raisins? 
raisins are one of those things that I, I like by themselves. I don't like that any I don't like them in anything else. Same with grapes. Grapes fine by themselves. But as soon as you put grape in a thing, I I don't like it. Hey, you guys aren't dancing. Running in fear. Look out, he's running straight for us. Sort of the opposite, but... You guys might want to move out of the way. I mean, I know I'm kind of lining it up to hit you as well, but I'm giving you that chance. Too late. Look, if they didn't want to die, they would have moved. They had their chance. Did not get stabbed in the back. Chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, well, then I'm on board. Basically, peanut anything. I'm all about nuts. Raw meat dumpling. I've been called that a few times in my life. I like this rain effect. It's probably playing hell with the uh, encoding, but so it actually makes the game look worse for you guys, I would imagine. Not as bad as my face. What up? Likely prawn. What? How'd you? What? You mean the the skeleton? The skeleton bones? Yeah, that, that's a prawn. Oh, it's called also it's called a shrimp and foreign heathens. Why is it always death? Because it's a FromSoft game. Miyazaki or whatever the fuck his name was. He was like the original fourth member of the Goth Kids from South Park. Everything is death. Everything is dark. Everything is empty. What's the point of anything? We're all gonna die. I hear cackling. But for once, it's not Tally. Dumanula. Windmill Village. Oh, see, look, we got here in time for Flower Dance Festival. That's good. No reason to rest. I mean, we could, but... Apparently, windmillers have a rich rich history of flower wreaths and dancing and also blocking off their own houses so they can't get back into them they just stand around outside and dance all the time and cackle Everybody's cackling. Oh, God. Sorry. Freedom. It's 
Celebrant's Skull. Skull Mace. I'm not going to be up there. Bladed Weapons. God, shut up, ladies! Please! I know you're just trying to have fun, but damn. There it is. A large bludgeon decorated with flowers and many colorful fabrics. A ceremonial tool used by dancers during the festivities of Damanula Windmill Village. The striking end is a skull too large in size to be human. Grants trace amounts of runes on landing attacks. Ah, interesting. Curious what this festival is about and why it never stops. Oh, God. It's like working in an office with a bunch of women. They're always just dancing and cash -filling. Making noises that don't make any sense. Your face is, uh, you're very pretty, madam. You definitely don't look like you uh, died like a week ago. I mean, live and let live. I mean, if they're going to be cool, I guess I can be cool. Where are the men folks at, ladies? Maybe that's why they're so happy. But there is always a dead horse in here. Didn't pass ahead. I mean, always. I mean, I don't know if I'd call that a path. Didn't expect old codger, but be wary of old deer. Okay. I'm not buying the hidden path thing. Unless, again, they mean that. Do they, are you pointing anywhere? No. Okay. Can y'all keep it down? Visions of don't give up, horse. Damn it. Look, the horse... How many dead horses are in these stables? Don't give up, horse. Don't give up, skeleton. All right, guys. Guys. You're you're beating a dead horse at this point. Literally. Well, not, not the beating part. The, the dead horse. That's legit. Well, the other one, they were surrounding and dancing a bunch of dead corpses. Which could have all been, maybe that's where the males went. Killed them all, lit them on fire. Just like a woman. Classic women behavior. Taking all their men, killing them and setting them in a fire in the middle. And dancing around their corpses. And then rising them to serve their every need. What you doing, ma'am? Why aren't you with the others? Maybe you should have been. Holy proof dried liver. Hey, this this is the guy. The dude. 
hole. Yes, there's a hole there. Oh, yes, there's a hole. God almighty. I need help. And shot up, ah, please, ma'ams. Can you, can you maybe cackle quieter? I see this lady's sad. Beware of decoy. Oh, you mean the sleeping one? Try love butthole. God fucking damn it. Trickery dickery doc. You bilches. Laid off the clock. I don't know. Not a I'm not a rapper. Speaking of, uh, oh, wait, wait, what's his name? Fuck, liquid, uh, super hot fire is still, still in action. He's like he just put up a video yesterday. It was randomly uh, assigned or uh, recommended to me yesterday on YouTube, so of course I had to watch it. He's still one of the best non-rappers I've ever heard. I know what's worse, the ones who try to kill me or the ones who cackle and dance endlessly. Both horrible in their own little ways. Oh, you did not like that. My box! Wait, I'm sorry. Did you just take a bite out of your own arm? They did not like me rolling into that box. As far as they're concerned, that was an ex act of extreme violence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, that was a bad time to have some frame rate plus camera weirdness. Ranny's quest line? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know if you were here, but I, I did continue Blythe's. He was, in fact, back at the jail that you well that you helped him with, and i.e., you went and did the fight by yourself, but then he took some credit for it. Get out of up there. Uh, but now I don't know where he's at. He said that he was going to go. Are you okay? All right, stop. Uh, he said he was going to go to Ranny. I think Ranny, not Ranny. It wouldn't make sense if he said Ranny. Now I think about it. There's an item up there, wasn't there? Oh, here we go. Right, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I went to Ranny's Rise. He wasn't there. Uh, I checked the other two towers. He wasn't there. Uh, I even went down to where Ranny's stuff laid you. He wasn't there. Wasn't there an item up there? I'm definitely going to ask these bitches to chill with the, the cackling. Maybe there was and I got it. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. Anyway, um, let's do this side.
Yeah. And I don't know if it was you or Velix, but yeah, had suggested going back to where to the to the jail where you're you he wanted to go kill that dude. Now I remember even saying like, why the fuck would he be back there? And I think we even like I think I went back to one of the jails that I thought it was, but then either like forgot to check the others or I just couldn't remember which one he was in. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to go to every one of these jails on the off chance that he's in one of them. But yes, it turns out he was at one of them. So I, I violated the number one rule of from RPG in big air quotes. Uh, is if you can't figure out where the NPC goes, go to places that they were before. Because for some reason that makes no sense, they might be back there. When do you... It doesn't have to be this way. You made me do this. Oof. Did you see that spacing? No, you didn't. You don't appreciate that spacing. That sweet, sweet spacing that I did. I knew she would be just within range. Because I this thing's... Relatively slow. Relatively. So I figured even if I attacked before her, I would probably end up getting... Zacked. But I figured I'd be able to nick her. And I did. Superior gameplay. Vertigo Tea Party. Uh, yes, I did get the miniature doll. I got that when we first uh, followed that quest line, or that I, I don't even want to call it a quest. When we fought, when we when we went to Rennie's rise and went through that teleporter, because we finished all of that. That laughing is gonna haunt my fucking dreams. Shut up! I'm intensely not killing them because I'm not a monster. Oh, hello. Wait, hold up. Who do we have? Uh, let's go with somebody fun. And or obnoxious. Nope! I'm busy! God damn it! I'm working here! Hey! Good job. Hey! You hit him in the butt. 77 damage. She's got this. Which she's obviously, again, not come, supposed to be combining. I do get it. Damn it. And you do not move when I do that. I do oh, help. Ah, damn. Wait, did she resurrect herself? She totally did. This guy does shitloads of damage for seemingly no reason. Oh, wait, actually, I think... I think this gear we take extra damage with. I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. Yes. Let's go with level one snake guy. I'm sure he won't die instantly. I'm just goofing with this guy, by the way. No, snake man! Get him! You want to pick that up or not? There you go. Snake man, how did this happen? Now you've caused me to enter phase two, which is basically phase one, except now I do more damage. Hey, wait a minute. Only the snake guys can do that. Come on. 
Maybe he is a snake guy. He's about to break every single goddamn thing you say to him. What? Come on now. Come on, game. I'm, I'm being nice here. I'm being nice. Ooh, you snooty little bitch. Godskin Peeler. Ooh, Scouring Black Flame. So, she should be around here now, apparently. I don't know if you could have summoned her during that fight. I kind of forgot to look. But apparently that does not matter. Let's touch this grace, giggity. Get back to Noxtella. Uh, yes, I did pop by there. And I did not see him. Now, Rena is supposed to be going to, like, Imperion. I don't know if that's an actual place or that's, like, a descriptor. Like, I didn't get the impression that that was the name of the place. What was this apostle teaching these ladies that made them go crazy with, I guess, euphoria? I mean, I guess it's worse. There's definitely worse things in the Dark Souls world than being cursed to laugh and dance Endlessly. I'm not seeing her. I'm guessing I might have to rest. So I'm not 100% sure we went everywhere here. No, we definitely haven't been over there yet. Hello, freedom birds. Yeah, we might have to rest, but I want to explore, and then we'll we'll go back and rest. So yeah, I do have the quest pages for both of them up, but I again I've only really looked at like the next step. Oh hey, oh shit, this is uh, I think one of the the portrait things it was. Ooh, fire's deadly sin. Visions of parrying. Okay. I'm assuming that was a portrait, right? Oh, this one? Definitely, I mean, that one we found. Oh, it is, but I can't really tell because it's, it's so goddamn foggy. Right? Just want to verify. Alright, relax. Chill out. How y'all doing? Not that one, obviously. Yeah, it is. Because there's that broken tower. Would you please shut the fuck up? I'm over it. Please, ma'ams, I need you to die because I can't handle it. You're literally driving me nuts. This is why there's no men in the village. This is why there's no men in the village. They couldn't take it anymore. And they set themselves on fire. My god. Oh. I mean... I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to see where I'm at, though, because I, all I did was, we triggered the part, we did the boss fight with Star Killer, Star Kisser Rodan, 
We talked to him. He said, go to the city. I'll meet you there. He doesn't. I went to the jail instead. Where we... Where we... Fought the Bloodhound gang. Night. Freed him. And that's where we're at. Because he said he's going to go uh, to Renala now. Uh, there she is. Hey, thanks for the help in the fight, by the way. Let's switch. Holy shit, yeah. She's like Jax from Mortal Kombat, except there's just one. Ah. We meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. I would have you call upon me. It is the only way. Okay. I mean, you could help me on that one, but... So again, like, how in, like, why in the fuck does she show up here of all places? Like, there's no hint whatsoever that she would be here. I would have never fucking guessed that. And on top of that, if you don't rest at the bonfire, like, if you just light it and leave, you would miss her. That shit is so dumb. I've ranted about it before, but I love this game. It's very, very good. Possibly going to be a game, one of my games of the year. Well, it's definitely going to be one of my games of the year. It might be my game of the year. Blah, 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 blah. But holy shit, some of that stuff is so goddamn dumb. Yeah, sorry, I was talking about Blythe. Sorry. With Rani, she just left. And she said she's going to the Empyrean. So I would assume that their quest lines would intertangle, right? Because he's supposed to be going to find her. Because he, he said either... He was going... See, this is why there needs to be a fucking quest log. But he either said, I'm going to Ranny's... Like, where... To Ranny's rise? Like, where... Like, the actual tower? Or I'm going to Ranny. Now, it makes the most logical sense he's going to go to her specifically, right? That's what makes the most sense. Because he's supposed to be protecting her. At, like uh, like the blacksmith told us, he's he's basically bound to protect her uh, and not betray her unless she goes against the two fingers. Then he goes batshit insane because it's a from game. Uh, but uh, but he's not at the tower, and I don't know where she's at because she keeps going talking about going, going to the Empyrean or Empyreon or whatever the fuck it is. And I don't know, I'm assuming that's a place that we just haven't got to yet. I don't know. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, let's go back and check this. Also, I'm going to rest again and see if she's she leaves. Okay, she's gone now. Teleported her ass out. There's no, she didn't leave behind something that would indicate where the fuck she's going to be. Because that's the other thing. So I thought, okay, she's initially like over here, right? Like looking out over, over, but she's kind of looking at the city, right? Like she looks at the windmills, but only if you go stand by them. She's more looking at you, not the windmills. So if she was looking at the windmill city, like, okay, I could kind of see that's a hint. That's where to go. But because she was kind of looking at the city, I thought, oh, that makes the most sense. But apparently she randomly decided to come to this fucking windmill city. Which I'm sure there's some obscure fucking reason. Oh, oh. This guy actually has a marker. The Noble Gold Mask. Interesting. So there's definitely more to that guy. Uh, I don't think the fastest way to get over here could probably this.
We will make some progress in the city today, by the way. But I, uh... I wanted to do, like, some of these quests. Because, again, like, I'll, I'll never get back to this shit. Well, I mean, I will, but it'll be a long time from now. Hello. Excuse me, boys. Meow. What are you boys out here? Did I explore this place? I had to have. Yes, with the stupid Scarlet Rot dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that now. What is this tower? Wish I could open my goddamn map. Now, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Oh, that's the... Uh, whoa! I don't think that's supposed to happen. The tree is glitching through the roof of that. Two out of ten game. Would we'll never play again. Look for that. Yeah, I mean that makes that's what makes sense to me, Lancy. That they would merge. That's kind of what I was saying. Is she's going to if Muriel or wherever, which again I don't think we found yet. If that's an actual place. Uh. And he's going to protect her. So yeah, logically, you would think that. But as we've learned, logic doesn't always apply uh, with these games. Um, we can take this off. I think there's a teleporter over here that I never used. Discarded palace key? I'll look. I don't believe so. No. I'm going to let the finger reader smell my fingers again. You. You. Oh, bless you. <sighs> to the east. Ruins of gold. To the west. Queen Mary. 
America. America. Okay. There's an item over there. I missed the boss and what the fuck? How in the fuck? How the hell did I miss the boss there? And where Necropolis? Noxtella. We can definitely go back and look. I mean, it's definitely very possible. How did I miss Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook? Lightning Pot and Roped Lightning Pot. Sure, why not? I must apologize. I've, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. Hey, Patrick Stewart, relax. Yeah, I think this is the one I never, I never tried. Yeah, no, I get it. No, I know what you mean, Plancy. I, I get, I know the tightrope that you're walking. I get you, and I appreciate it. Oh, okay, just takes you, okay, over here, where gold mask is. Maybe he say something that's different since we killed that apostle? He's, I'm not looking at his crotch. I mean, I am looking at his crotch, I guess. But he's got the... I mean, I had the mask. Hold on. This is another long shot. Yeah, I tried this. Like, maybe if I, like do what he's doing. But. Whoop. Uh, game. Whoop, whoop, game. There we go. You tried to crash. Alright. Alright, so this. Uh, you can. Alright, so. If you know which one, you can just tell me on that. Because I don't want to run all over the place trying to find. Uh, a boss that I missed. What's up, lab chimp? Noxtella Waterfall Basin. Waterfall Basin. I would know it to be over here. This is where... Well, no. Where is... Oh, there it is. There it is. Is it down here or, or uh, up the elevator? I like how the water, the torch stays lit. Oh, I have to rest. What? What the fuck? What? Why? Why? What the fuck? It's so fucking random. And it doesn't say anything. That's so fucking random. And 
And that's it. But she didn't say anything. Well, the doll doesn't say anything. Shocking, I know. Towards the eggs. That shit is so annoying. Do you have to do that first? Uh, towards the red room, you'll be invaded by a baleful shadow. Okay. Most fucking random ass game in the world. And the thing is, you know, like, the, the From people, or like the From fanboys. Like, now, nah, see, there's actually a really good reason. Like, fuck off. Jesus Christ, fuck off. God damn. Is this this red before? I was here before, right? I was kind of looking around. I'll go ahead and pull this, but when I go back outside. I'm assuming I fought a boss here at some point. I mean, maybe I already fought that. I honestly don't remember. Like, I don't even remember this room. To be totally honest. Was she supposed to actually say something when I talked to the doll? I swear to God, that option was never there before, right? Like, I'm not going crazy, because I swear, I keep... I, now I've kind of gotten a habit of sometimes looking for, uh... Oh, God, now I... Yeah, I don't remember this fucking shit. Yeah, so it's not there now. What? So fucking dumb. You're supposed to talk to her... After you fight it and get the key. It's it's also possible that we've gone too far now and like randomly gone too far and we can't do the quest anymore. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? What the fuck? Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Wait, she's mad because... I guess she's hiding as a doll, but I found her, and then I talked to her, and she responded. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Imperian of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marika. To become the new god of the coming age. Which is when I received Blythe in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the Two Fingers. I stole the Rune of Death. 
slew mine own Imperium flesh. Casting it away, I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the Two Fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Ah. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. I, I mean, I probably will. I've let slip. Forget what thou's... So... <sighs> No, it doesn't make me feel better. Because it's random. It's like completely fucking random. It's asinine. It's so badly done. And I, I absolutely will not allow any bullshit excuse of like, Oh, well, it gives you a reason to play again. No. Having quests that trigger on random horse shit. Like, oh, you had to talk to the doll, but not here. No, no, no. Talking to it doesn't do anything. You have to walk down this path and then walk back and talk back to the doll for no fucking reason whatsoever, of course. And now it gives you a, a, a baleful shadow will attack. Like, what the fuck? It's so poorly done. It's, it's miraculously how bad they did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The invader will now pop up. Asinine. There's just no excuse for it. Absolutely none. I mean, I also do notice that the Baleful Shadow is obviously... Are we doing this? I love getting stuck on the environment. No. I tried to jump like 30 seconds ago in a game just now. I was like, oh, did you want to jump? Like, yes. I. Back when I pushed the button, I did. Yes. Like two hours ago when I pushed it. Yes, game. I sure did. And yes, yeah, clearly that's Blythe. Or someone dressed just like Blythe. Beautifully fought. I mean, not really. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. He just kind of walked now forward. I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe. And E.G. I love them. Holy shit. How asinine. He to treasure chest for Carrion Princess. I am a Carrion Princess. He discarded by Lunar Princess Rani alongside her very flesh. But with the treasure chest passed down to a Carrion Princess. Tukarian princesses. It's said to be found in the Grand Library. Okay. 
I was kind of thinking that was going to be it. Jesus jumped up, Christ. And the thing that's really annoying about stuff like this is... Like, I was on the kind of the right path, right? Like, I, I thought, like, maybe she was going this way uh, because of the portal in Rennie's tower. But, like, I would have never thought at this very specific bonfire, there'll be an option to talk to the doll. Like, and then, but when you first talk to it, it doesn't do anything. So just walk down the path and then walk back and talk to it again. Like, oh my god, it's so fucking bad. Holy shit. Random quest generator. Yeah, I mean, how would I have ever guessed to go back to that one spot to, to do that bullshit? Dark Moon Ring. Is this the royal ring that we can now open that one thing with? Maybe? I didn't see if it was a key item. It probably is. The doll looks different now. The chilliness is gone, feeling now like an empty husk. There's no response. There wasn't a response before. Don't pretend that there was. Rain depicting a leaden, a lit... Leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath, the ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Rani to her consort. Rani is an Empyrean, which they still not really explained, meaning her consort would be would by rights earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever they, thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine own. What the fuck does that mean? Whoever they, thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. Jesus, fuck, whatever. All right. Let's see if she says anything different. I'm sure she won't. Art thou now sure? No, shut up. Not, I would shut up. All right, so now let's go back down here. Oh, you're supposed to keep talking to her repeatedly. Of course. Why didn't I think? Oh, yep. See, it's open now. No, I'm not doing that today, Felix. I have... Uh, I have jury duty next week. And I don't really know how this shit's going to work. So I need to get to bed at like a decent hour. It's a little bit of a drive. Damn it. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to that. The jury duty shit. Deep and sell well. Where are we? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Looks a little different. Okay, I'm going with myself. Looking damn good. Oh, 
I mean, this is nice and mysterious, at least. I've actually never did jury duty, ever. So at least it'll be, it'll be a new experience, I suppose. But apparently I'm supposed to Moonfolk Ruins. I should be able to like uh, call around, like uh, check the website or call at six, and then I'll find out like if I, I mean, I would think you'd have to show up for the first day no matter what, but apparently you can, oh no. God damn it, this shit again. You know, you know what that means? Invisible walls and shit. Give us a fucking C invis spell, please, for the love of Christ. job casting into that tree, son. Thought you should see, be able to see invisible shit. Me? Hey. Hey, thanks for saving me the trouble, dickhead. 